Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys this weekend, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what our spirit guides have for you guys this weekend. All right, my loves. What's coming towards my Virgos this weekend? We have emotions. A lot of high emotions this weekend. We also have messages. For a lot of you guys, you have some messages that's going to come in that's going to have you all in your feeling feelings. Look at that energy. Somebody's throwing energy your way this weekend. A lot of you guys, there's a vibe that's happening this weekend. Look at that love. Love, matters of the heart. For a lot of you guys, there's a lot of emotions coming through this weekend. There's a lot of high vibes, high energy coming through. There's a lot of communication coming through. And there's love. What you're not seeing is that there's love. Some of you guys could have been born on, I have August 23rd. I have September 7th. I have September 3rd, September 6th. I have September 9th and September 8th. There's a lot of high vibes coming through this weekend. A lot of love, a lot of emotions, a lot of communication, a lot of messages. Show me spirit. Step up and lead Capricorn energy. I feel like somebody there's a follow through here. I feel like there's a follow through. Somebody's going to step up. Then we have a tent to the details Virgo energy. So for a lot of you guys this weekend, you're going to be attending to the details. I'm getting an energy of attending to a lot of small things. Like I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be extremely busy this weekend. There's a lot of energy here of a lot of you guys being extremely busy this weekend. There's an energy here of somebody. I feel like this is somebody in your life, somebody in your energy. Somebody's going to step up. I feel like there's going to be some communication, like somebody's ready to step up. And that it could be you guys, but there's an energy of somebody be, somebody stepping up. And then we have, again, Virgo energy, trust all will be well. I feel like this weekend is bringing a lot of high vibrations for you guys. I definitely feel like this weekend is, is some positive energy. You're surrounded by a lot of po powerful, powerful, positive energy this weekend for you guys. I feel like for some of you guys, there's some communication that's going to come in that's going to make you smile. It says talk less and feel more. There's a lot of enjoyment. There's a lot of enjoyment coming through for you guys this weekend. I feel like you don't expect, you're not expecting this. You don't see this coming. Your weekends, I feel like you guys weekend is going to turn out better than you, better than you're thinking, better than you're predicting, like better than you're predicting. I feel like a lot of you guys, your weekend is going to turn out a whole lot better. Yeah. The moon. I feel like for some of you guys, you may receive some type of communication for, from someone here that they, I feel like somebody's going to be expressing their love to a lot of you guys, expressing their feelings, expressing their emotions. Now, this could be a friend loving you, showing you that they love you. This could be a, a family member saying that I love you. This could just be the simple words of I love you. This could be some type of communication, like a loving gesture. This is someone, someone endearing, someone that's telling you that they care, someone that's telling you that they give a damn. Someone here that's coming towards a lot of you guys, there's some communication, and this is some good positive energy. This is definitely giving me some good positive energy. I definitely feel like there's an energy here of someone here stepping up. Someone here finally stepping up. This could be you stepping up, but I'm getting an energy of someone stepping up. And you've kind of been waiting on this person to step up. 
kind of been waiting on this person to step up for a lot of you guys this could be a capricorn or another virgo just like i said it could be you as well a lot of you guys you are attending to a lot of little small things around your home i feel like that i feel like a lot of you guys you're in prep mode you're in prep mode for something i feel like there's an energy here of a lot of you guys this is about your faith, trusting that everything will be well. Even if there's some things that's going on right now, present moment in your life, I feel like a lot of you guys, your faith is strong. I feel like there's going to be an overall peaceful energy surrounding you guys this weekend. There's going to be high vibrations around you guys this weekend. There's going to be some heart-to-heart -heart conversations you guys will experience this weekend. There's a lot of love surrounding you guys this weekend. There's a lot of emotions surrounding you guys this weekend. There's a lot of feeling. Talking less, feeling more. It's like someone telling you, shh, listen. Listen with your heart, not with your head. That's a big energy. That's definitely, definitely a big energy. Show me the moon. Show me the moon for my Virgos. Hmm. Some of you guys are going to be quite stubborn in showing your emotions this weekend. Like talking, like I feel like we have power. Yeah. See, I feel like for a lot of you guys this weekend, you could, this is, I could be dealing with a Virgo. What's your birthday? September 16th. There's a big energy here. And guys, this reading is for all Virgos. Anytime I, I throw out a date that's giving like a significant, there's a very significant message in this reading for that person. Okay. But it is for all Virgos. Take things as they resonate. And I'm definitely getting for a lot of you guys, there is like stepping Stepping into your power is, is actually embracing your emotions the way that you feel about something. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is kind of like surrendering control, whereas this is like you're becoming more powerful by becoming more vulnerable, becoming more vulnerable with your emotions. I feel like for some of you guys, you've been hiding how you feel about something. And I feel like there's going to be like a chance, an opportunity for you to come out of that darkness into the light. This is about you embracing what you how you truly feel. This is about you bringing change and change can't happen until you make certain changes and that's by your actions by you stepping out by you stepping out of your comfort zone by you actually voicing your true feelings and not hiding not sheltering away because you don't want to be hurt by these emotions that you're actually feeling I feel like a lot of you guys you're truly stepping into your power truly truly stepping into your power I feel like for a lot of you guys you're you're becoming like a grown woman grown man like I'm gonna say how I feel I'm not gonna be scared it's like, I'm, I'm all I'm hearing is like, I ain't never scared. Like, that's kind of the energy for a lot of you guys this weekend. Like, you not being scared. You embracing how you feel. Embracing your power. Show me messages. Peace. So for a lot of you guys, there's some messages that's going to be coming in that's going to bring some peace into your life. I'm dealing with a Virgo that was born on August 28th. There's some messages that's going to be coming into your life that's going to, I feel like this weekend, there's some communication. It's not about coming into your life. There's some communication that you're going to be experiencing this weekend that's going to bring peace into your heart, into your soul. I feel like for, 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 for some of you guys, you've been like, there's been some high stress, some high anxiety, but whatever this communication is, it's going to, it's going to calm you. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like okay I can breathe now that's kind of what I'm getting in that energy show me these power lines protection so for a lot of you guys your energy is being protected this weekend for a lot of you guys your spirit guys wants you to protect your energy could have been born on um, I have August 24th for a lot of you guys there's a, there's a need for you to protect your energy maintain some healthy boundaries I do see some good vibrations running through you guys this weekend some high vibes, high vibrations. There's a need for you to protect your energy. Keep up, keep healthy boundaries. Don't let somebody low vibrational come into your space. Keep your space clean. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's a need for you to protect your energy this weekend. Big energy because your vibrations are going to be high. And I feel like there's, there, there's like, this is giving me like an energy sucker's energy. Like somebody coming in to kind of feed off of your energy feed off of your vibrations like don't let somebody come in and steal your peace or disturb your peace 
because you're very powerful right now, present moment. Look at that. We have new beginnings coming through. We have pleasure and we have beauty. So for a lot of you guys, you could be doing things this weekend that's going to enhance your beauty, like getting your hair or your nails done, going like do, doing a retreat, doing like a spa date. There's a lot of pleasure for a lot of you guys. You're getting ready. For some of you guys, you could be getting ready for a date, a new date. Like this is a new date energy. I just got that. And for some of you guys, it's like you're getting ready for a, a very pleasurable future here. You could be born on September 2nd. I have September 18th and September 20th. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's a lot of self-care, self-love, a lot of pleasure coming through this weekend. A lot of new energy. This is definitely, definitely giving me a lot of new energy for you guys. Yeah. Show me this step up and lead spirit. Action. Take action for growth. So whatever, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is you being called to step up and lead for growth, for, pro, for, pro, for progression, for progression. There's a big energy here of you guys taking action. There, some of you guys may be introduced to some type of opportunity this weekend. Your spirit guides are wanting you to step up and lead. Capricorn energy, that has a lot to do with like change like career path. That has to that has a lot to do with your money. That has to lot that has a lot to do with your business. It has a lot to do with progression, resources. It it really and truly has to do with like your work itself. For some of you guys, you could be introduced or offered some type of new opportunity this weekend and I feel like your spirit guides are calling you to like calling attention to this so you can be open to the opportunities because this could just be something that you're overhearing but it's going to allow growth and the thing about it is there's a need for you to take action because there is an opportunity for you to, to be to whereas you're going to be able to step up and lead in your own life in your own path so for a lot of you guys i'm not sure what's what your weekend's going to consist of but there's going to be an opportunity that's going to come in that's going to allow growth that's going to offer some growth and also it's going to require you to take action that's why your spirit guides are telling you that there's a need for you to step up and lead there's a big energy here of you guys stepping up and leading stand in your power Stand in your power. There's a lot of peace and pleasure in your life right now, present moment. There's a lot of beauty, a lot of beautiful moments that's going to be, you're going to be experiencing as well this weekend. Show me a tent to the details from my Virgo. Extremes. Anytime I get this card, as I see 12, 12, 12 on the clock, I feel like, and this is your energy. This is your energy. I feel like anytime I get extremes, this is like some type of overindulgence. This is some type of secret affair. This is something that you guys are partaking in. And it says attend to the details. I feel like there's an energy here of you guys needing to, I don't want to say brace yourself, but there's an energy here of you know what you know. You know exactly what it is that you're doing. You know exactly what how this is going to turn out. You know exactly what, again, what it is that you're doing. OK, there's something here that you need to attend to. There's something here that you need to address. There's something here that you need to resolve. This is giving me an energy of resolving an issue, resolving. There, there's, there's some type of resolution here. There's some type of for some of you guys, there's something here that you've been partaking in some things, someone, some type of situation you've, parta you've been partaking in. And I feel an energy of something has reached its fullest potential. And this is like coming out of the darkness again into the light. So for a lot of you guys, this is like coming out of the darkness into the light. I feel like there's an energy here of a lot of you guys. Like if you're partaking in something and you're going to know exactly what this is. If you're partaking in something that is not not your norm not where not what you really and truly want to be doing like you may want to be doing certain you may be wanting to you may be wanting it yes but you want but wanting it under different circumstances i feel like this is almost like putting your foot down i feel like this is like attend to the details like break like how do you how do you truly feel about this situation because i feel like for a lot of you guys because we did see this here whereas this is you using your voice this is you speaking your truth this is you expressing how you truly feel i feel like for a, lot, a big group of you guys spirit is saying that this weekend is the time for you to attend to those details don't go disturbing your peace to satisfy someone else to to is i feel like it's like giving yourself a stomach ache 
why because you you're holding in what it is that you really want to say like it's it's like being allergic to something but not telling someone that's feeding into you that you're allergic to it kind of that kind of that's kind of that type of energy like it's like you don't like something but you're going to still eat it to please someone else but then at the same time that thing that you don't like the reason why you don't like it is because it actually makes you sick you see that this is like hurting yourself to please someone else disappointing yourself like st spiritually starving yourself emotionally starving yourself to feed someone else's soul to feed someone else's ego to feed someone else's you know this 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 and this like i feel like that's kind of the energy i feel like your spirit guides are calling you to attend to the details attend to you like your wants your needs your goals your desires attend to you attend to those small details attend to the things that you have been avoiding attending to the things that you've been avoiding addressing that's a big energy and then we have patience i feel like there's an energy here for a lot of you guys whereas your patience is being tested your patience has been tested for a lot of you guys you have been patient and i feel like this weekend is you voicing truly voicing how you feel about a situation truly voicing it show me trust all will be well spirit we have hunger so for a lot of you guys everything's gonna be okay your spirit guides are saying that everything's gonna be okay that hunger comes when you want something you want something so bad but there's there, there's a right and there's a wrong there's a left there's a right there's two different paths and like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, that you're hungering for something. I'm dealing with a Virgo. You could have been born on August 29th. I have September 7th. I have September 15th, September 5th, and September 9th. Some big energy here. Some big energy here. There's a need for some of you guys to be patient. Because I feel like the situation that you're in right now, present moment, there's an energy here of you needing to pull back your energy from a situation or from a person. I feel like there's an energy here of a lot of you guys making a decision to pull back your energy. And when you make that decision to pull back your energy, that's when all will be well. You have a decision to make. Somebody else in your energy has a decision to make. Your spirit guides are calling you to be patient because I feel like once you, it's like showing someone that, you that you're going to be okay no matter what this is about you not truly feeding someone else's ego this is about you not making yourself sick to to bring pleasure unto someone else this is not this this is not this is about you like taking action towards the things that you want and feeding nourishing things that's going to provide growth into your life like this is you're way too powerful you're a very powerful manifest manifester right now present moment you're way too powerful you're way too good for accepting anything less than what it is that you're deserving of i feel like there's a big energy here your spirit guides are calling you to step up and lead there's some things that you there's some details there's some things minute things it may feel minute but there are some things that you need to attend to but your spirit guides most of all wants you to trust that all will be well you need to make a decision and and keep going whatever that decision might be bottom of the deck we have fear you do have some fear here you have fear in making a decision for a big group of you guys there's some fear in making a decision i feel like for a big group of you guys you've been patient with a situation you've been patient with a person and i feel like there's an energy here of you guys like having to attend to the details having to stand up for stand up for your rights stand up st stand up for yourself there's a big energy here of a lot of emotions coming to the surface whether this is you sharing those emotions or someone else but i feel like it's you i really do there's a lot of power a lot of vibrations a lot of energy coming through i feel like for a lot of you guys there's communication coming through that's going to kind of stir up some things stir up some emotions stir up some feelings there's some communication that's going to be some messages some communication that's going to come through that's going to offer a new beginning i feel like there's going to be a lot of growth i feel like for a lot of you guys this weekend you're going to be called to take action in some type of opportunity but whatever this opportunity is it's going to bring in a lot of abundance and growth into your life so be open to receive it be open to see it I feel like there's a lot of energy here of talking less, feeling more. 
How do you truly feel about a situation? Listen to your intuitions. I feel like this weekend is a great time for you guys to listen. Listen to your spirit guides. Listen to your angels. Take some moments of deep meditation, deep quiet, like quiet, and just listen. I feel like you're, a lot of you guys are going to be getting some downloads this weekend. There's a big energy of you guys needing to just kind of listen. Just listen. All right, my loves, let's see. What's coming towards my Virgos this weekend, spirit? What's coming towards my Virgos this weekend? Oh, wow. Someone else. Someone else someone else is in the middle someone is trying to sabotage this so for some of you guys you could receive some type of message this weekend that it's like there's someone else interfering there's someone else interfering in something that you want and then we have moving on someone is unavailable a waste of time it's over so for some of you guys there's some communication that's going to come in and it's going to be it's, it's, it's saying okay it's time to move on for some of you guys, see, this is kind of the energy that I was getting here. When your spirit guides are saying that there's some, there's a need for you to attend to the details with this extremes. I'm definitely getting an energy here of some of you guys. You know that there's someone else interfering with what you want. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be making a decision this weekend. Or someone's going to be making a decision to move on from someone. Pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. So for some of you guys, you could be getting a new pet or this is you spending more time with your pets this weekend. Show me what's coming towards my Virgos this weekend. Moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. So for some of you guys, you could be moving this weekend or you could be moving in with your partner this weekend. That's your great new beginning. And again, we have patience. Just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. I feel like there's an energy here because I got this here. I feel like there's an energy here of some of you guys, there's a need for you to be patient, but also maintain boundaries. I feel like you have to maintain boundaries with someone so someone knows that you're not playing with them. There's a big energy here for some of you guys. I feel like you're going to, it's like, it may be hard because you may receive communication from this person and bottom of the deck, we have divorce. For some of you guys, it may be hard to really and truly stick to what it is that you're saying. Why? Because you want a new beginning. You want change to happen within a, within a situation. And I feel like this, your spirit guides are calling you to be patient. For some of you guys, you may have to truly put your foot down with someone because they're allowing someone else to interfere with your connection, with your friendship, with your relationship. And I feel like even for some of you guys, you could be moving on. You could be moving. Like I'm getting an energy. Some of you guys, you could truly be moving out from your partnership, giving each other space. It's like space distance makes the heart grow fonder. I'm kind of getting that energy. Some of you guys, you could truly be making that decision to move out, to move on, hoping and praying that it's going to make your soulmates or your partner's heart grow fonder. That's a big, big energy. That's definitely, definitely a big, big energy. Show me spirit. Show me. So we have accomplishments, triumph, self-esteem, confidence, talent, fame. <clears throat> a little something I threw together. I feel like a lot of you guys, there's some type of offer or some type of opportunity that's going to come in for you guys. There is, there's some accomplishments. I feel like if there's going to be a boost in your self-esteem, I feel like there's a boost in your pay. Like whatever this is, and I'm not saying this is your job. I feel like there's going to be a boost in your pay, meaning like you could be doing a side gig or something that's going to bring in more money for you guys. You could have made some type of investment that's going to bring in more money for some of you guys. I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to go from struggling to not struggling. There's going to be some growth that's going to be happening and that growth's going to be happening quite quickly. I feel like it's like a seed that's planted this weekend. I'm definitely getting that's a seed that's been planted or that's you watering a seed that's been planted this weekend. Show me. And then we have chicken when it's head cut off. Very busy. A lot of you guys, look at that. Deadline, stress, chaos, refocus, redo, and, and for your best results. So for a lot of you guys, you're going to be extremely, extremely busy running around like a, a chicken with his head cut off this weekend. But we did, we did get that. 
we did get that earlier in the reading and then we have come to jesus some honest communication divine intervention for some of you guys there's a reconciliation that's going to be happening like you there's a reunion here this could be a reunion with a friend this could be a reunion with anyone but this is divine intervention and i feel like for some of you guys there's communication like somebody's like okay let's meet up let's talk there's a let's meet up let's talk kind of somebody wants to have an honest conversation and then we have give me some sugar hugs and kisses and i feel like for some of you guys like this is like going on a first date or this is like going on a date this is like having brunch with your girlfriends like this is like a long lost friend coming into town and you're giving them hugs or like, and you're having some honest conversations how you been what you been up to that's kind of what i'm getting in that energy big big energy and then we have whatever floats your boat fulfillment follow your bliss and money comes passion projects and do you i feel like for a lot of you guys i'm telling you there's a door that's opening for you this weekend there's an opportunity that's coming in and whatever this opportunity is it's going to bring in some money it's going to bring in some money it's going to bring in some abundance and i'm not saying it's going to bring it in this weekend but i feel like it's a seed being sown i feel like it's it's like somebody throwing you a life jacket a lifeline and it's for you to catch it that's kind of what I'm getting in this energy, like somebody throwing you a lifeline and it's for you to actually catch it. That's a big energy. That's a big energy for some of you guys. Somebody may be like, OK, it's time for you to move and just come. Everything will be fine. Like I'm kind of getting that as well. Show me spirit. Show me what's coming towards my Virgos this weekend. We have the moon in reverse. Some things that things that have been I want to say in secret things that have been hidden from you this is the coming to light ten of pentacles unexpected there's some money coming for you guys yeah queen of pentacles as well eight of pentacles things that you're going to be working on look at that we have the ten of pentacles we have the tower scorpio energy we have the queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy with the eight of pentacles for some of you guys there is something that you have invested into there's something that you're investing into even into yourself unexpectedly there's some wealth here for some of you guys there's an inheritance that's coming in unexpectedly some of you guys there's winning of the lotteries that's coming in unexpectedly but there is some unexpected windfall of money coming in some type of unexpected abundance coming in show me spirit that's what you don't see we have the ace of pentacles see that there's a new offer there's new offer, new opportunity coming in, new money coming in for you guys. That's something that you're not seeing. I feel it strongly in this energy, strength, Leo energy. A lot of you guys, that's going to help. It's going to help you overcome certain obstacles. I feel like for a lot of you guys, your self-esteem is, there's a boost in your self-esteem as well. We have the devil Capricorn energy. Why is the devil here? The three of cups a friendship. Hmm. So some of you guys, you could have a toxic friendship that's resurfacing back into your life. For some of you guys, you could be partying a lot this weekend, overindulging in certain things. For some of you guys, you could be partying this weekend. For some of you guys, you could be um, interfering. Like, no, I don't want to say interfering, but you could be partaking in a third party um, sex capade or like, you know, something like that. Like, you could be like giving in to certain extremes certain things that that kind of hold you hostage certain things there's something tempting there's a lot of temptation coming in for you guys this weekend there's an opportunity here there's a lot of temptation that's coming in for you guys this weekend there's a need for you to be strong strong leo energy strong capricorn energy with the three of cups you're going to be extremely happy celebratory about it but the thing about it is i feel like there's a lot of temptation coming through for you guys this weekend show me eight of wands see that communication a lot of communication coming through a lot of fast action the empress for some of you guys there's a mother figure here an older woman why is the empress here but this is also about like this is like having something happen and then you're, you you don't you feel 
this is giving me like you're feeling less than after the fact like after you've done this this and this now it's like okay you're so disappointed because you've done this for some of you guys there is some communication coming in from a mother figure um the high priestess somebody here is gonna there's some secrets there's some things that you're not that you don't know that you're not seeing for some of you guys, you may actually receive some communication from somebody's mother, or you may actually receive some communication from an older feminine energy. Someone here that you look up to, however this goes, like, or someone here that you did look up to. This is someone here scolding you. Like someone here calling you to scold you about your behaviors or, or about your behavior or about something that you're doing that you shouldn't be doing. This could even be an older woman calling you to scold you. Be, this could actually be some communication coming through for somebody here. Like if you're playing with somebody's husband, like this, you could actually get communication from this person's wife. That's a big energy. Show me. Yeah, two of wands. So some of you guys, you have a decision to be made. Four of wands regarding a marriage a relationship living situation about a family so for a lot of you guys right now present moment there's an energy here of this weekend having to make a decision regarding your home regarding your family what is this decision spirit regarding your relationship the world and the six of wands okay there's un there's there's some things that's not there's some unfinished business here but look at that the, with the six of wands in the reverse it talks about a lack of success a lack of recognition for some of you guys there's a there's a decision that has to be made because you're not content you're not content where you are right now present moment yeah three of wands you want to move for some of you guys you want to move for some of you guys you want to travel for some of you guys you're talking about you're thinking about your future you're not content with where you are right now present moment in life and you're worrying about your future and what this relationship what this what is what is it going to do for your future what does the future hold in this relationship that's a big energy show me we have the tower scorpio energy why is the tower here three of pentacles this talks about collaboration unexpectedly somebody here you're unexpectedly somebody's going to want to work with you somebody's going to want to collab with you the fool somebody wants a new beginning knight of swords libra gemini aquarius energy aries energy scorpio energy so i feel like for some of you guys somebody here is going to come somebody wants a new beginning with you you're going to be receiving a lot of communication this weekend seven of pentacles somebody wants to invest somebody wants to work knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy somebody wants to offer you their cup of love this is someone that's manifested you or that you have manifested i feel like this is you you being very powerful this person being very powerful king of pentacles for some of you guys is another earth sign virgo taurus capricorn energy i feel like you're very powerful but somebody's manifesting you and for some of you guys you're going to be receiving some communication you're going to be receiving some commu uh, there's a lot of communication coming through there's a lot of communication coming through for you guys this weekend communication that's going to offer opportunities communication that's going to offer yeah a new beginning this is going to this is this is going to offer some type of change this is definitely going to offer some type of change that's going to happen in you guys' life. Big energy. Big, big energy. Show me spirit. What's your advice? What's your advice for my Virgos? Brown bear spirit, take time out. I feel like your spirit guides wants you to take time out for yourself, but also take time to think things through. I feel like your spirit guides wants you to take time out for yourself. You could have been born on September 9th. And it says, sometimes life stings. Wasp spirit. So I feel like I feel like there's an energy here as we see 333 on the clock. I feel like there's an energy here of yes, sometimes life stings. A lot of you guys, you've experienced a lot of stings already in your life. But I feel like the will is turning right now present moment in your favor it says time for a deep dive go after the things that you want swan spirit now is the time for you to go after the things that you want it says butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful the transformation that's about to happen in your life is going to be absolutely absolutely magnificent it will be i'm dealing with a virgo that's born on september 11th i have september 6th i have september 10th like there's some big energy here 
some beautiful transformation that's happening in your life. Time for a beginner's mindset. There's, there's a need for you guys, porcupine spirit. There's a time for a beginner's mindset. I feel like there's a change that's going to be happening, a change. There's going to be a seed planted or there's going to be some excessive like miracle growth added to a seed that's planted or a plant that's that's thriving as is. Like I feel like there's going to be some growth. There's going to be potential for growth. I feel like there's an opportunity for a lot of you guys that's coming in, whether it's an opportunity that's going to bring in money into your life or an opportunity to opportunity for love. I feel like there's a, there's opportunities coming in, there's messages coming in, there is communication, honest communication coming in for a lot of you guys this weekend. A lot of you guys, you're going to be extremely, extremely busy. A lot of you guys, it's about getting your affairs in order. For some of you guys, you're going to actually take your power back from someone, put up some boundaries. Um, I feel like there's an energy here of a lot of you guys trying to maintain healthy boundaries with certain people. There's a lot of energy coming through. There's a lot of energy, a lot of progression, a lot of forward movement, a lot of energy about you guys needing to take a leap of faith because there's an opportunity that's coming in this weekend and you guys will need to take that leap of faith. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, bye guys.